Hey, 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 everybody. It's Rod Bergeron here with you, and today we're doing some in plein air, and we're going to specifically look at shadows today. Uh, we're looking at this road that's uh, just down from my house here, and uh, this is Clapperton Road, and we're looking at how it is that we can make these shadows. You'll see in this, uh, there's, in this shot, there's some really, really long shadows. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning, uh, but we want to look at you know how do we can get this road in here so um, let's look at this road and specifically it's up about almost half on the right hand side and it's I'm just sitting right near the edge of the road and it's about one-third over and you'll notice that it goes to about the one-third line almost up to the one-half line of this Something like this it comes down and then it comes back up. It comes up a long hill. So from where it is here, it really just does that. Now, I don't know if this is too believable for me, so I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm working in pencil today so that we can erase it. And, you know that's not normally what I do and people will tell you that you know, if I'm erasing it's probably because I'm trying something different and I am so that's gonna be my road across from the road here we have a hill that kind of comes like this and it's coming up on the right hand side of the hill we can't really see it but there's another hill like this you'll see in the background here where this line is almost all the way over to here there's a green field and it comes back like this. This right here is all ditch and it comes back up like this over to where these trees are. This is all trees in the background except for where the road is like this. There's only a little wee bit of blue sky up there. This is a pretty good start for our drawing. We're going to see on the on the right hand side here these trees go all the way from all the way up and off the page there's some rather large trees there's two that are together here and i'm going to put those in and i'm going to erase that line in between those i'm, I'm going to erase out the the line that i had put in previously for where the background was just redraw that one there's lots of people that have lots of strong opinions in the art world about should you leave pencil lines, should you take your pencil lines out. I'm the guy that really lets you make your own decision and you decide if you're leaving pencil lines in or if you're taking pencil lines out. Nobody else should decide that for you. There's another smaller tree here and we'll hint at some branches and down here a little bit further. There's a smaller tree yet. These trees are getting smaller because of perspective, but they're also getting smaller because there's, uh, they're just smaller trees. On the right-hand side of the road here, we have two fairly long, fairly tall trees, I guess I should say. There's almost no leaves out right now. You have another quick look at the picture. There's almost no leaves on any of these. I'm going to make another small tree here. It's actually a large tree, but I'm going to... Now I'm going to go back in here again. I'm going to take my eraser and I'm just going to erase those lines where I've gone over a previous line that was in there. Take those out because that's not what I want. So remember, this is your forest. This is your landscape. This has actually turned out not too bad. There's a couple of more smaller trees in here that I think I'm going to put in. Like this. And there's a couple down here. Something like that. I'll leave some of it in there. 
Okay, that's a pretty good start. <sighs> Again, the sky is a brilliant, brilliant blue. So we're gonna put that in first, all right? So um, get yourself some water. Let's have a look back at this again. Get yourself some water here. Kind of got a little bit too much extra water. I'm going to set my pencil and eraser over here. Grab out some of this water. And do our whole background right over top of these trees but we're going to do the whole blue of the sky right over top of our pencil okay so that's pretty good there's some little white areas in here that's all right let's look back at the um the shot again So this is this field in the background here is a little bit green so we're gonna wet that area back in here even though I got blue on my brush we're gonna wet that it's gonna come up like this and this might be a really good time to say you know how am I gonna get that to turn green well I'm just gonna pick up this yellow right here to tell you the truth and mix this green into it and I'm gonna put this green into that little bit of blue wash right there. Just a lot of this in the background back in here is all just this right here is all just brown. It's a whole bunch of different browns, but it's just brown. I'm going to pick up this brown right here. this right here with some dirty water and we're pretty much going to just stop at that with the with the brown I'm going to wet this area right here where my road is and you'll see I have some dirty water again I love using dirty water and I'm wet that all that's a little bit of blue in that and we're going to pick up a little bit of this black here, dirty water with the black, the bluish dirty water. And we're going to put this right along here. We're going to kind of direct that a little bit into the road area. We're going to let that run right down into this. Okay, so I have this area uh, right along in here that's sort of a different brown altogether. So we're gonna we're gonna deal with that. Uh, there's some sticks and twigs and stuff that go on in the background there. So I think we're gonna deal with that along there a little bit darker than we have with the rest of it. So to that end, I'm gonna pick up some dirty water again, mix it in with this sort of Payne's gray kind of muck that we have here quite a bit of brown and a little bit of black and we're going to put some more water into that and we're not going to mix it very thoroughly a little bit more brown into that maybe there we go I'm going to test this on the side of our page that's what I'm going for like a chocolatey kind of a brown and we're going to put that right along there quite a bit of it too let that all run together we're going to put a little bit of this into our water that we have on the side here, especially right here where we have a bit of a ditch going on. A little bit of that over here in the background. I'm in a bit of a shady area, so it's not drying up really quickly on me, which is good for what it is that I'm going for here. That's turning out not too bad, but you remember the what thing that we talked about was, you know, putting in shadows, and 
what it is that we have here is we just have a background here. I mean, all this really is, all this is going to be is just the background for our painting. So we're going to leave this and we're going to let this dry and we're going to come back. All right, so we're back. So if we look at each one of these trees on uh, our video here, you'll see that they're all really super well lit. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to paint each one of these trees and make them, you know, quite bright. So what it is that I'm going to do is I'm going to take an area like this and I'm going to put quite a bit of water in here like this. Remember, I'm going to make these trees stand out significantly. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this little bit of dirty brown here that we have and I'm going to pick up some blue. So I'm just going to pick up some blue here and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown and put that into this. And we're going to end up with a color somewhat like that. And I'll put a little bit of brown into that. Mix that up. And we're going to end up with this, which is sort of like a Payne's Gray. And we're going to paint each one of these trees. Okay, so I painted those trees in there with that bit of dirty water and some grayish blue and then I picked up a little bit of brown and I went over them real quickly. Not really spent a lot of time on it at all. Let's go back and have a look at our, let's go back and have a look at our video once again. So you'll see here that our shadows dip a little bit when they go down into the ditch in the, in sort of in the center. And you'll see that they straighten back up and they go back across the road. So we have to do the same thing in our for our painting to make it look like there's a ditch there. So right here there's a ditch and I've put a little bit of a line in here to indicate that there's a ditch there. So again, I want to be very specific. What it is that we're going to do is we're going to wet this area. We're going to use a little bit of water it doesn't have to be clean doesn't have to be dirty but we're going to wet this so it dips down it comes back up and it goes across the road okay the same thing with this it's going to dip you use dirty water to do this you can sort of see where the line is and then this one here is going to blend into this one Okay, so I have some dirty water there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up I'm going to pick up a bunch of dirty water and I'm going to put some blue into it. Just like that. And I'm going to pick up a touch of black, just a touch of black. Just a little bit of black. I'm going to try this on the side of my page. That's not quite dark enough. Pick up a little bit more black. Try this on the side of my page. That's pretty much what I'm going for. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of this into each one of these shadows right at the base of the tree. Remember, shadows touch the base of the object that they start from. No problem, you know, just paint a little bit of that in there like this. Mixing the blue with the black gives you an interesting kind of a shadow. Okay, I think this one's just about done. We'll put a little bit of a mat on this and we'll call it finished. If you learned anything from this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you, um, have a question or a comment I'd love to hear from you please leave it in the comment section if you are currently a subscriber I thank you very much if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, we'll do a lot more of this and you'll be able to keep up with it so thanks for watching we'll see you again next time I'm gonna keep going with this because I kind of like in the way that this color is turning out on there it's not too bad at all Maybe put a little bit, uh, a couple little branches in, you know, some places like this. Yeah. 
that actually is turning out pretty good. For a little guy running around out in the woods with a paint set, you wouldn't know I knew anything. No, that doesn't work. Oh hey, I did not see you standing there. If you are watching this, it means that you have watched to the end of the video. And I'm looking to give this away. I want you to go out and like a whole bunch of my videos. I want you to subscribe to my channel. And then I want you to be the first one to come back and say done. And by like a whole bunch, I mean go and like four or five of my videos. Come back and say done. And I'm going to put this in the mail and send it to you. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate if you're a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, go subscribe to my channel. Thanks for checking me out.